day five. Another day, day five. Day five. Check day four. Uh, you've been checking the weather for us. We got some rain coming. I'm your resident weatherman. Resident weatherman, Mark Corey. <laughs> Uh, what do they say? Right out, a little right around two o'clock. Two o'clock. That's gonna soak the sets a little bit today. We'll have to remake probably every canine set tomorrow. Um, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. I uh, couldn't wait. Put those 11 sets in yesterday out to the west, and today we're gonna th throw the the rest of the clean traps the half dozen in the ground and if we have to remake them tomorrow we have to remake them but they're going to be in the ground uh, that'll give us just shy of 40 canine sets um, we're down here as we've mentioned on the illinois kentucky border and we're trapping east of our spot and we're trapping south and we're trapping west we're not heading north anymore well, that's a good thing. Most of the rain looked like it was going to go to the north of us, so maybe we'll get lucky. Well, I, nothing would make me happier than to have no rain. Absolutely. But, um, it was really warm yesterday, as you saw in the footage if you watched it yesterday. Uh, I mean, it was 65, 67 degrees. We went to dinner last night. It was, what, 60 degrees at yeah, 7, 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock at night. That's just too warm. The those coyotes and stuff they just do not move in that warm weather but once this rain gets through that front gets through temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 30s during the day and into 20s at night and they're going to be on the move so we want to have every working trap that we can ready to go for those three nights we'll uh we'll redo them all tomorrow i'm sure yeah well it's hard to catch them with the traps in the back of the truck no no we're going to get those last six and we'll probably put six eight in that straighter we got a few locations i want to show you and talk to you about you know year over year um which is a lot of the places that i like to set once i catch something make a note and uh it goes in the ground you're probably already doing that on your dirt down in tennessee knowing absolutely. where they're at absolutely i, I mean last couple years you get to see archery season where they're running and where you see them a lot and then you go in and trap in january and february and you, you make a mental note of that make a mental note and that way you know that's good every year absolutely i mean you find a trail that goes from a wood edge to a wood edge or a crossover or a pinch point or something like that every year that traffic is going to uh go by the same trails and I mean, there's a point back, and I showed it, I don't know, probably at least a dozen times over the years, whether it's been the DVDs, TV shows, YouTube clips, whatever. There's a crossover point there in Pennsylvania that year after year, year yeah. you've actually been there a couple of times. Hell, you've, only, you've probably been there at least twice, and you've been part of the group for about a year right so it's one of my favorite spots but it's got the rivers and the streams and the fields uh, as barriers and they just work the same place every year and i've caught beaver there coon there muskrat there mink there and you know find those places and you're uh you're gonna catch fur every year they're just animal highways but check day four Trap line day five here in southern Illinois on the Kentucky border, and, and we're going to hopefully have some uh, have some action for you. But you're going to see what happens today, and uh, we'll pound some more sets in. Hopefully before the rain, if it's raining, we'll pound them in during the rain. Right? But uh, we got first spot. We're going to check. Had that coyote the first day, and then we've had the, uh, what I consider the coon wars. We're having the raccoon wars. They're taking all the sets out that we showed you, but I think we fixed them yesterday. We're gonna go there first, see if, uh, see if I matched wits with the raccoon. Three days in a row, this set's been dug out. Yesterday I did this. I, I honestly, you can see what I've done here. There's not a self-respecting coyote. This was a coyote set. I caught a coyote in this set. You saw it three days ago. 
I don't think there's a self-respecting coyote in the world that's going to get caught in this now. I've put guide sticks, <laughs> a stick in the middle blocking the, where he's got to somehow work over my trap to get in this bait. And he's dug me out. I, I just am just, it's now, I don't even care if I catch a coyote here. And that's one of the things about trapping as well. I might as well just keep giving them more bait, you know? That's one of the things about trapping as well. You, you just are always, always messing around with something. Always messing around with a critter. And this one is, is annoying me. We drove by the set over here where we first come into the food plot and that traps off again today. I don't know what's going on here. Started out awesome. Had a coyote the first night. Had a coon yesterday, plugging up one of the coyote sets. But this this one here, I actually am gonna do something here. Hopefully I don't get caught. I'm gonna pull that out. And I'm just gonna make this for the coon. I'm gonna get it right up there tight to that hole and he's gonna have to work in through and over it. And this is now a coyote set that has been transformed into a raccoon set because I'm just no, I don't care at this point. I want this coon. I'm at a point, I'm actually going to get it right there. I'm going to bed it in there a little bit. And this, I can pretty much guarantee it will not have a coyote in it tomorrow. <laughs> but things have happened where I've been like, oh, I'll never catch anything in that set. And, you come back and you actually are like, wow, I actually caught something. So we're going to do this. There ain't much to it. And then all I'm going to do is cover it with leaves. That's all I'm doing. That set is now, I'm just going to put that right there like that. So he's got a guide in. Pump that up. And now the coon works that set. I think we're going to get him. If we come in here tomorrow and don't have him, we'll figure something else out. But he's, uh, he's waged war, and this is my uh, next plan of attack. <laughs> well, this... Uh, Thank God I caught that coyote the first night, because we caught that coon here yesterday. And the set's dug out by another coon. I mean, I don't know. These are new traps. I just boiled them before I came. The pan tension actually might be a thing with these. That might be part of my problem. I will check that when I go home. <clears throat> but... Uh, that may be an issue. Um, a lot of the coons we have gotten have been in a back foot because they're getting deep and they're coming down with a back foot. So maybe the pan tension on these, I mean, I don't, that feels good to me though. I think they're just getting over it. Maybe they're just missing the pan, but that's one of the things. I've trapped a long time and I'm sitting here doubting myself and I know not to do that, but we're just gonna reset it here and we'll make it available for the next contestant that comes by, but it really, uh, <laughs> it really wears on you when you're like, man, why am I, why am I not catching these animals? Especially raccoons, they're not hard to catch at all. And like I said, it may be a pay attention issue. It may not be. It may be something they're just getting in there and they're digging dirt up on top of it. 
We got one more down here, the one that I mentioned we drove by it to come up here and check this one. Um, that traps off, and it looks like a little cat circle. We're going to examine it when we get there, but um, you uh, have to uh, work at it and make sure that you're doing things the right way and good things will happen if you keep after it i don't doubt that we're going to catch them we just have to uh get through this battle but we're going to win the war that works pretty good looks good We got it rebaited. I mean, still, if a coyote comes by here before the coons do, we will catch the coyote. I don't doubt that at all. Now, that one I just remade down there, I doubt we're going to catch a coyote with only leaves over the trap, but that one on that far end, that's three straight nights, and he's annoyed me a little bit. So we, we changed that up. But this set right here, that'll catch a coyote if it comes by. So... We'll head down the end of this field and see what happened at that other set. Well, this trap was off. I don't see it's just leaves and stuff in it. I don't know. The holes dug out again, so something's digging, and they're digging from the front, so they're not working it from behind. It's definitely, uh, I think. It might be the same one or two coons doing this, but there's a lot. That river edge is right there. This is an extreme travel way. We're going to remake it, and any uh, chance of catching a critter will be here because we remade it. The snap trap doesn't catch critters, but we're going to remake this and get that in there. Actually, I'm going to just bed that back just a hair right here. And, you know, same as that set that we just remade over there. If a coyote comes in first, we will catch him. But if the coons get here first, there's a good chance that we won't. Because they're either going to be in it or digging me out again. And actually... I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I'm starting to wonder. I, I, there, unless an animal's in the trap, and we haven't caught one in this trap, but my trap tags are jammed on there. And both of my trap tags are right here, able to be gotten off, just like that. So, Well, I know that was a coon down there because we saw the tracks. We caught a coon up there. I don't know. Somebody might have been in here deer hunting. I mean, there's a deer stand right there. But both of my tags are able to be gotten off of my chain. And when I put them on there, I actually uh, use that J-hook tool and jam it down in. And you can see the cranks and stuff on there. And they were, they were taken off. No, no animal is going to be able to do that the way that was. So somebody was looking to see my trap tags. You know, I see online um, where people say, "Yeah, I had a trap stolen, and and somebody messed with my trap. I had a stick put in my trap." You're going to have those things. Um, you just have to work through them and make sure that uh, you don't let them, you know, take away what you're doing just stay the path i know it sucks i know that a lot of times uh a lot of times you know you want to get mad and find out who it is and this and that and the other thing but anytime i'm trapping if i'm trapping road systems where i have to pull off right along the road 
and whether I'm trapping mink or beaver or whatever, I fully expect that I'm probably gonna get messed with at some point. So I know it sucks, but don't let it eat you up too much. And, and those trap tags were taken off by a human to see what's on my, uh, what's on my information. And the thing is, that's actually illegal. You're not allowed to touch somebody's traps. And we have permission, and this is private ground. And the people that own it, though, I'm in Southern Illinois, the people that own it live in Alabama. So a lot of the locals around here know that the people that own this live in Alabama, and they may be in here hunting illegally on their property trespassing. And they wanted to see who was trapped. So basically, you just deal with it and move on. But that's definitely uh, what happened there. I do know that we are having some coon issues here, though. And we are going to remake this set and hopefully have a, a coyote here. But I'm starting to lose my faith that the coyotes are going to get here before the coons are. So you just have to keep plugging away. And it is what it is. We got a lot more traps to check today. I'm not going to let this ruin my day and uh we'll move down the road and see what we have but we got it remade who knows if we'll get them this is more of a just get the bait in the hole remake the set we have a lot of rain coming in and when we do remake these tomorrow we are going to take our time and for those last three days, we're going to make top shelf quality canine sets so that uh, if anything does come by, we're going to have a good chance at them. I'd like to have a couple of these damn coons out of here first, though, because I don't want them ruining the really good canine sets once we remake them after this rain. But we got more bait in the hole. We're just going to cover that with a bunch of leaves and it's made it's ready and we're gonna head on down the road and check our other set oh mark that was about par <laughs> well that was definitely not the way i envisioned the morning started <laughs> no <laughs> Mark didn't have the camera on, but we were finishing up making that last set there. I put my hand down in the hole, put some bait in the hole, and then was walking back to the 4x4 and wiped my face. And I, I looked at Mark and I go, dude, did I just want to scat on my face? And he's like, yeah. And I, I, I literally wiped coon scat all the way across my face. So, Mark's, Mark looks at me and says, yeah, this is pretty much a closer. Yeah, that's not how I envisioned today. Three sets there on that backside and, and dug out three times. That one set, I've got no chance of catching a coyote. You got I got guy sticks. Leaves covering the pan. You know, I just, I, I'm at the point where I want that coon and I want that coon gone messing up my stuff but I'll tell you what we could get there I could get mad he's not gonna get mad he's done nothing but laugh at me for about the last half hour you can get mad you can lose your mind you can let it ruin your whole day but we are not gonna let it ruin our whole day it's actually kind of funny pretty much pretty much that spot at this point in time yeah there should be a tent over it because it's a circus. <laughs> it's a circus. That went from catching a coyote the first night to like, wow, this is going to be a really productive spot to the coon wars. And I'm now guiding 
and covering the trap with only leaves. That's where we're at at this point in time. But that's trapping, and I, I love this stuff. I remember I had a mink back in the day. It's actually in my mink video, the one I filmed very right off the start from like 2003. I had a muskrat, a mink, killed a muskrat in a jump set and ate it. Be part of it. So I, five, four or five straight nights, that mink kept coming back and, and I could not get him and I ended up pinching him the last night. He never came back and I did catch one there uh, two weeks later. Um, and I don't know if it was the same one, but I've had these type of situations before. But they definitely add enjoyment and they add uh, fun and they add laughter and they add head scratches and they add bewilderment. Hey, <laughs> never a dull moment, but no, there's never a dull moment on the trap line. That's what makes it so cool. You never know what you're gonna get. It's, it literally is Christmas morning every morning. And we just left. And I must have been a bad kid the whole year. Cause I just had nothing but coal. Yeah. Coal in the stockings right there. But we got them set up, remade, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll have them tomorrow. So when we remake the sets after the rain goes through, that they're set in there good for canines. But heading in the next spot. Never know. See what happens. We got a lot of traps to check. We're gonna have some other stuff today. Oh yeah. But yeah, you're 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 spot on the old cluster. <laughs> and then you know, just to top it off, might as well just spread some coon butter across my cheek <laughs> to uh start the day off right. <laughs> Well, here's one of the things you deal with. Uh, this one got dug out from the side right here. You can see where it got dug out from the side and Mr. Coyote left us a little present right here on the outside of the set. He missed, uh, you know, he just missed the pan. The pan's right here. Coyote dug it from the side. Uh, just, that's part of the game. Um, we're not going to really remake this. I'm going to finagle it a little bit. I'm going to move that scat over to there. But he'll come by here at some point again. But uh, got us a little present here. Dug it from the side. We'll build that up a little bit. Maybe uh, he comes back. Maybe we get him. But, you know, he's not the only coyote here, too. So if you are having something like this happen... It doesn't matter just keep the set in the ground keep it working and you got other coyotes and bobcats and foxes that are going to be running by this area we're right on this thick stuff we caught that bobcat up here around the turn caught that coyote through the walkthrough this is the farthest set down right on this food plot but uh we'll get this uh taken care of and hopefully next time he comes in he finds the pan well I like the way that looks, and we're going to take his little presents that he left us. We're going to put them right there on that back side. And uh, if he comes back, maybe he'll find a pan this time. But if another one comes, that's good attracting in and of itself. So, pretty good back tomorrow and hopefully have them waiting for us well here's that set we had the possum in yesterday and you know it's action every night here on this dam breast I mean any animal traffic that's coming through here whether it's fox coyote bobcat raccoon possum skunk they're gonna work this out around this pond in this edgeway and as you can see, we got a snap trap. And you know, sometimes you'd be like, oh, I missed something, I missed something. Well, actually, I'll tell you exactly what we missed. We missed a deer. And there's the deer track. Basically, he was walking into the set like that. And you can see here, where it looks like his right front foot 
and you can see how it's where he took off it's a big indention and a long indention so basically that deer probably stepped in that and his left front foot or his left hind foot scared the hell out of him and that's where he planted to take off <laughs> so that's a that's definitely a, a deer miss you can see we didn't have anything in it the the backing that we were using is still there and it's not dug out so that's one of those things that uh the sign will tell you a lot of times what's happened at your set if you just pay attention that deer track obviously went in there he stepped in the trap and he took off when he hit that right there but as you can see the pond it's starting to rain it's a lot earlier than they said they said two o'clock it's not even 10 o'clock and it's starting to come down and it's going to come down hard it's actually coming down hard already so we're going to get this remade um probably be a quagmire tomorrow morning but uh that's what happened here the white tail walking through got snapped and ran away beautiful weather we knew it was coming <laughs> we said the rains are coming it didn't, it didn't even start but an hour ago and it's coming down hard yeah there and the sets you can tell in the sets too yeah it's crazy look at it they're already filling up with the puddles we're already filling up with the puddles every one of these sets is going to need to be remade tomorrow and this is that place where uh, all the firearms <laughs> and fireworks were going off when i was setting i and it, there was most sign i saw on any farm was here and i'm pretty sure that they scared everything into the next county but nothing here today every one of the sets has uh water on it just like this right here and that's exactly what we're going to deal with all day today the rest of the day we are going out to check 11 sets that we put in yesterday brand new so we may have something out there and we're going to go check them but they're all going to be full of water just like that yeah if there's there isn't anything in them they're definitely going to be full of water and we uh took a shot of the radar that shows nothing but red orange and green yeah and pretty much the rest of the day the rest of the day so tomorrow's gonna be a a day of work definitely oh, no. not a day of rest tomorrow but that's one of the things you deal with we did have uh the coon wars we put the circus tent over that again this morning had that one coyote come in, worked that side of the hole and left us a little present, but nice. once this rain gets through, we're gonna have three really good nights once we get them remade. Yeah, especially after the temperatures drop a little bit. Temperatures are gonna drop too, right. so. But, yep, that's one of the things. Uh, no matter where you're at, you're gonna have to deal with the weather. And as you can see, they are not gonna be uh, in the best working order tonight well buddy i think my ambition got the best of me uh yesterday yeah we went for it yesterday and uh yeah it didn't work out to our advantage yeah my ambition got the best of me we could probably come out here and put all them sets in last night and as you can see they are nothing but uh swimming pools today that's the set that i put in yesterday that's the one i caught them in last year and a straight swimming pool oh man i'll tell you well we got i got a lot of work to do tomorrow it's gonna be a long day tomorrow it's gonna be a long day we're gonna be up we'll be out the door by daybreak and there's a good chance we might not even get it done by the end of the day All right well yeah, the temperature has dropped that's a positive and, and going down you can it's cold it's rainy it's windy those critters are laid up right now absolutely they're laying up it's gonna break in the morning tomorrow um we're gonna have to actually find some drier areas we might have to pull some of these out of the ground and remake Move them around a little bit but uh you can see the ambition of trapping 
and wanting more traps in the ground got the best of me I think yesterday so but we'll be out here again uh, tomorrow we got three more sets to check and uh, if we don't have anything in there we got skunked I got skunked today first first, first uh, day here skunk yeah well you we, never know we're not done yet we're not done yet we don't have very many traps left though so and uh, the more we're out here in this cut and land and rain <laughs> the more I think we might be heading home alone. All right. Well, we pull up on this one and we thought we had a coon and he just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did. He literally, we pulled up and go, hey, we got a coon, we didn't get skunked. And he literally pulled out of the trap right there and ran out through the woods. I'm gonna count him. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm counting him. Dang, I couldn't get the him. damn. I couldn't get the damn camera on quick enough to to get him. Oh. He might still. He didn't run that far away, did he? No. Well, you can see the cat circle. He just pulled out. We just pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is he? He ran down here in this little ditch. He didn't go up a tree right here anywhere, did he? I didn't see him. I don't see him. He was nothing but a-holes and elbows. Oh, that's pretty funny, huh, Mark? Yeah, that's, that's a first. I've, I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> I had a fox do that one time. I had a fox pull out pulled up to the set I was like hey I got a nice red and he pulled out but you can see the catch circle he pulled out right when we right when we came up I'll be dang well I'll tell you what I'm counting him we yeah, saw we, him we, gotta, we saw we him, saw him. Count. he counts <laughs> uh, and another thing we're not remaking that set today <laughs> it's pouring it's cold I'm not remaking it. Um, we will remake this uh, tomorrow once the rain gets through and really get this set up. We're going to use a lot of wax sand tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. We're going to use a lot of wax sand tomorrow. Make sure that um, the traps are in the ground correctly when the cold weather and the below freezing temps come in. So when the coyotes do come by, uh, we're going to be able to catch them. But that was that walkthrough. Put that walkthrough in here yesterday and obviously uh had a coon and <laughs> did you see him he as he ran running. over there yeah. he kept looking back. back at us oh that was pretty cool <laughs> that was cool but he obviously he pulled out right when we pulled up so man i wish we'd have got him running across there oh, well. you, know, you think he ran up? is that him up in a tree no that's no, a that's a squirrel's cool. nest but yeah we're not going to remake this um weather conditions obviously as you can see are just horrendous and we are uh gonna be back here tomorrow though big full day tomorrow long day but yep. worth it long day all right one more trap to check and then uh we're done for the day but i'm gonna count him we didn't get skunked we didn't get skunked well we just left that set where we pulled up and that coon pulled out right when we were sitting there turning off the four by four <laughs> And we said uh, when we were leaving, we had one set to check, and we checked it here, and we have a really nice bobcat. But uh, beautiful, beautiful cat, beautiful eyes. But uh, Mark, pretty good end of the day. That's a, that's a good way to end the day. Uh, I mean, the cat's a little wet, but hey, well, we'll get him taken. He'll be happy when we let him yeah, out. Yeah, uh, but yeah, today's been pretty much a cluster. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all day. Yeah. It's been a madhouse. We started off that first place. We had those three coon sets that, well, they're really canine Cutting sets nuts. that I'm in a coon war. They turned into coon sets. Yeah, they turned into <laughs> coon sets. Um, even one of them I caught a coyote at the first uh, night. But, and then the rains have come in and it is, it is cold, it is wet. 
but that's good. It's gonna get through. We'll remake all these tomorrow, but pretty good end of the day. Yeah, real good. Especially for the cluster that it's, it's been. That it's especially the way it started. Yeah, it's, 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 Just, it's a good uh, day. Just pretty crazy, but we're gonna get out and show you this bobcat real close. It's a beautiful young cat. We're gonna let you out, buddy. You went through that walkthrough, didn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's uh, that's that walkthrough set. We put that in here yesterday, and um, this draw, we caught that coyote here last year. We caught that coyote up there where we had that coon just pull out also. And it's just a really good travel way where they're gonna hunt up through here. And as you can see, this one, went through and uh, we're gonna show you the release. Like I've said before, you wanna get that uh, loose arm up in the cable and make sure that uh, you keep that pressure off of that larynx, but just an awesome, awesome cat and we will get her or him taken care of and move on down the road. We're gonna let you out, buddy. Get your arm in there. I don't want your back in. Get your arm. what they do they run under <laughs> I should have moved the four-wheeler because when you let them go they run under the four by four to where uh, that's their cover but he's out and we're gonna have to uh, get in that four by four somehow without getting latched into and drive it away. Oh, see if I can drive away without him jumping in here.
it's pouring rain. It's been a cluster all day long. <laughs> Why not end it? Why not end it with <laughs> just a... Uh, Okay, it is coming down in buckets still. And that cat, I drove, if you saw, I drove the four-wheeler away and he's following because he wants to get under and use that for cover, but uh, I came around, picked up Mark, and he comes following us again. But that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. We uh, pulled up on that next to last set and watched the coon actually pull out of the trap and run away and then come down and had a bobcat there at that other walkthrough. Both those sets were walkthroughs we showed you yesterday. I'm freezing, I'm shaking, I'm cold. It's about, I don't know, 35 degrees and this is just pouring rain. So I think we're done for the day, Marcus. You know what? I'm telling you, that is today right there. In a nutshell, from from the start. We were driving down the road to check our first area and we forgot the air tank for the one 4x4 because it's got a, a low tire. So we had to turn around and then we got down there and it turned into Coon Wars 5.0 or wherever yeah. we're at with that. But uh, we had that one, only that other one set that that coyote uh, came in, dug it from the side. We showed you that with the, uh, left us a uh, present um, on the outside of the bed. And then uh, come down here, we pounded the, those 11 sets in yesterday. And most of them are completely swimming pools, but we ended the, uh, had that coon, we saw pull out, and then we had that bobcat oh, yeah. to end the day. So all in all, pretty good day. Pretty good. I mean, they found the number 11, last 11 yesterday, working. Yep, absolutely. And that's the one thing, uh, when you're out there, if you can pound in new sets, new territory, new sets, new territory, new sets, um, you're going to be successful, but... Tomorrow I think is going to be a wash. We're not going to have a lot of traps that are going to be... Well, over here we don't have hardly any that are... I mean, they're mostly just swimming pools. And that's the one thing when, you know, I've dealt with it before. You've been with me and, and other people uh, have dealt with it too. When you make a step down set and you have it below that uh, level ground, you are definitely at the mercy of any rain whatsoever. And when it rains, you are definitely going to be remaking some sets. 
but all in all we got a long day ahead of us tomorrow we're going to use a lot of dry dirt tomorrow a lot of uh, wax dirt but we are going to get them ready and they are going to be ready to go and top shelf heading into this three-day weekend with the temperatures and, and all of that getting below freezing because those coyotes and stuff pretty much everything's going to be laid up all day today they are not out in this the wind's blowing it's literally you know dropping into the low 30s cold rain uh they're laid up but once this front goes through they're going to be on the move and especially as those temperatures drop so last three days what I mean is be out well it's going to give us a chance uh once we get these sets redone right. tomorrow uh we're going to have three good nights yeah. and we'll be back out here uh attempting to uh put some more critters in the back of the truck North American Trapper has got you covered when it comes to essential trapping baits and lures. When you're moving soil out of the field, know that you're getting the best sense available with the North American Trapper's line. Go to NorthAmericanTrapper.com today and explore the mountain man in you.